All right, everyone. There's the setup. It's the wood stove. Put a small piece of plywood down as the snow melts out. It won't let go from the stove pipe and smoke you out while you're asleep. And I just got a few spruce boughs laid in here. Um, normally you need a lot more and you get rid of the thicker branches, but uh, again, like uh, it'll be nice and cozy. Um, one of the main uh, reasons why I'm using the spruce boughs in here for this, uh, this camping trip is uh, for the aroma. You can't beat the smell of spruce boughs in a uh, in a wall tent. So anyway, I'll bring in the Coleman stove. That'll go right here, um, and I'll bring in the cot later, and that'll be on the back wall. We'll have a chair right here, and it'll be nice and cozy. So stay tuned. I hope you guys are enjoying. The double bunk cot set up. Right now the top bunk is folded back. Used as a as just a regular sofa. Birch bark, kindling, dry wood. There's the Coleman stove. Primus lantern. Very compact. 490 lumens, self-igniting. I'm just going to get the fire going here now. So, I'm just letting this uh, simmer down a bit now. The uh, stove is plenty big to cook on. You don't necessarily need the Coleman stove, but uh, if you're if you got a couple of people here and you got a lot of food cooking, you can fry up or cook up. You can have your kettle on here. I've got uh, prime rib Angus beef steak on the menu for tonight so and up here I'm not sure if I share this but you can hang up all your clothes keep it nice and dry Hi everyone, Dave here. So it's about uh, minus 10 degrees Celsius outside and uh, I'm just set up here. Um, so right now I'm just using the uh, BioLite Nano Grid with the tea lights. I've just got the four tea lights. As you can see, strung above me here. And um, I'm not sure the cordage comes with each one, but and they use very little power where they're LED. The uh, wood stove is just uh, crackling away. I'm not long actually back here at the uh, at the tent, so and um, <clears throat> so I'll just share with you. This is the um, this is the nano grid 
right here and the T lights just plug into it like that. It's got an LED indicator of the battery level. And um, so I mean, this is uh, this is by far pretty cool. You can hang it as well. You can use it stood up, but I can use that for. Uh, like I say, there's enough light here anyway in the tent. I don't even have to worry about uh, using this to cook with. So. Unless I was outside. So anyway, that's that set up. As you can see, it's nice and bright in here. It's probably, like I said, I just got here maybe 10, 15 minutes ago. It's probably uh, maybe plus 10 in here right now. It'll warm up uh, probably plus uh, 30 in about another 10 minutes or so. And then I can close the drafter on the wood stove. And I got a little bit of wood inside. So yeah, um, there's the, uh, the Coleman stove. I've got my little speaker there, Bluetooth, to put some, some music on. I got a playlist on my phone, so. And Norm, time on the line. Gave me that nice little uh, bag from Cabela's. Comes with a nice shoulder strap as well. And uh, just to share with you, hey, they're <laughs> they're not Vienna sausages. It's uh, it's all Ritz. I don't, know. I don't know what it is. I've seen it today. But Norm, I'm uh, utilizing the bag that you gave me along with all the other great stuff. But um, all of my BioLite products go in here. You like say it's got uh, that's the grill. It's the BioLite cook stove there. I've got all my BioLite stuff in there, so it's come in handy. So, uh, Norm, I appreciate that. So, <clears throat> I'm just here now. Waiting for it to get about another 10 degrees, and these uh, warm pants will be coming off. And Sam... I, I don't have my jacket on as you can see. It's nice and toasty in here, so Winter camping is probably my favorite. You haven't got to worry about bears. You haven't got to worry about bugs, so Just the scattered mice and true <laughs> Something very peaceful about a wood stove crackling anybody that's camped before Got a cabin with a wood stove in it. It's uh, it's always nice to hear in the background. So yeah, just like I said, I got the four T lights, the string lights set up there. Comes with a lot of cordage on each. I just got a strung across with a clothes pin going down, plugged into the unit. So anyway, I'll uh, check back with you guys uh, shortly once. Uh, once I get hungry enough to cook up that steak, and I'll share with you guys that. But um, <clears throat> I guess uh, a few of you guys out there have been, I promised this a year ago that I'd share with you some footage of uh, winter camping in the wall tent. And um, this particular tent, uh, I've had it for 11 years now, and as you can tell, it's still like brand new. And, uh, you look after it and it'll last more than a lifetime. So the biggest thing I can stress is um, with regards to the stove pipe, I've got that secured with uh, rabbit snare wire outside. Um, because uh, what can happen? And you can see I got the board underneath there, the plywood. So as the snow melts or you get a lot of wind, if your stove pipe's not secured, it can come apart in the middle of the night when you're sleeping. And of course you. You don't wake up so I can't stress enough about how important it is to ensure that uh, when you set up the wood stove in these wall tents that everything is secure and everything is uh, in place and it's not gonna it's not gonna come apart when you're not here or if you're asleep so anyway just thought I'd share that we'll check back again
I'll share with you uh, a lot of footage as well um, with regards to the, the camping gear that I use. Um, right now I'm using um, the BioLite Nano Grid. I'm using four uh, string lights, the T lights. I'm using those right now for the lighting. And as you can see, it's it's you know it's it there's there's no issue there, um, and that'll probably last most of the night. So um, I also have the Primus Lantern um, with the larger bulk fuel canister. Um, that's more of a backup than anything. Um, so yeah, I uh, I guess uh, for for many of you out there, just do your research, um, find out. Um, if you're more interested in, in backpacking and um, experiencing, then I wouldn't recommend a canvas tent uh, marine uh, because uh, this this canvas tent is seven by nine, and um, it's probably close to thirty pounds in weight, um, so it's it's not backpacker uh, uh, suitable. And um, so it, again, like there are wall tents out there, and and well, I don't know about uh, wall tents, but there are uh, hot tents out there um, that are a lot lighter and um, a little more suited to to those that are going to be backpacking. But um, again, I didn't. I traveled in here um, with a, a tow behind um, sled with with the tent and the wood stove. And like I say, the wood stove is light. Uh, it's only sheet metal galvanized so um, there's no weight to that and again um, it, it's like it's a matter of preference what you're going to be using it for um, the area that you're going to be uh, focused on camping and that so just do your research on that so uh, again I, uh, I I encourage anyone out there who's never experienced uh, winter camping to um, if you know somebody that has um, plan a trip with them Get out and experience it firsthand before you make the investment because um you know it can be quite expensive to to have um you know all the, the you know the required gear to, to be comfortable so um i'm using my sleeping bag here in case the fire goes out um I'm, i've got a it's a military uh, mummy bag so double layer and uh, that's good for like minus minus 50 i believe so um I don't have to be concerned about um, not having to wake up in the middle of the night and load up the wood stove and um, to, to stay warm. So, um, yeah, I just uh, I encourage anyone out there who hasn't experienced uh, the uh, the winter camping to uh, to get out and, and give it a try. Like I say, no bugs, no bears, and um, yeah, it's uh, it's it's something that you'll. You'll definitely uh, once you try it, you'll you'll be hooked. So, as always, guys, take care. Right, guys, so thanks for watching. I'm here now in in the in the wall tent and uh, gonna cook up. I got a prime rib Angus uh, beef steak. I'm gonna cook up on the Coleman grill, and uh, I'll have some uh, instant mashed potatoes to go with it. It's convenient. And I'll cook up some mushrooms and, uh, and onions as well. So uh, we'll get that going. And um, like I said, this particular grill is, uh, like I said, it's got a single burner and a, and a grill as well. So we'll get that fired up. Just to share with you guys uh, while I'm warming up the grill, this is uh, an MSR, very portable. And stainless steel, very, very uh, durable. It'll last forever. The lid uh, can also be used as a frying pan, which I'll be using tonight. And it comes with 
this for which like I say you can use it uh, as a lid and and all all the above and I use a dish towel just to keep it from like I say with backpacking and stuff you don't want to beaten up and this particular pot here um, I believe it's a I think it's a two liter this one yeah, this is a two liter pot. And as well, it comes with, this one is one and a half liter. So, it's a very handy three piece set. Very compact and um, very durable. Stainless steel. Works out great. So, without further ado, I'm going to get the prime rib steak on the grill seems to be heated up pretty good now we'll get the mushrooms and onions in the frying pan and uh, once they're uh, caramelized I'll uh, throw on the instant uh, potato so stay tuned mushrooms got my onions onions first Look at that. The <laughs> heat in here is pretty warm right now. It's probably about 30, 35 degrees and like minus 10 outside so. Got some Montreal steak spice. down just a little bit on the onions and we're going to throw on the mushrooms
And again, that MSR three-piece kit, great for um, camping like this as well. Um, you know, I, I, you know, it's very compact. It's light, even though it's stainless steel. It's very light and um, convenient. But it also has the versatility of, like, I'm cooking a big feed here where. You know, enough to feed two people easily, if not three, uh, with portion size. So, I like the MSR kit that I have. Uh, I've had it for a few years now. And Sure wish you guys could smell this right now. Unbelievable. Alright guys, stay tuned. I'll share with you guys uh, the finished product. Alright, so the water and the butter is now boiling for the creamy mashed potatoes. Just bring it to a boil. Stir in three quarters of a cup of milk, cold milk. Uh, stir while adding the instant potato. Let stand for 10 seconds and ready to serve. Everything else is looking great.